if you're like, like uh, let's let's save it for the patch notes, please. Okay, all right, all right. let me let me get it open. Patch notes. All right, Wiggins, are you ready for patch eight point four? Okay, welcome to patch eight point four. This one is pretty huge, like my dingus. No, really, we've changed that. Okay, no one cares. Uh, patch highlights. No one needs to see that. Okay, AP item changes, Wiggins. Before we look at the changes, what do you think of mages? Wait, what role do you play again? You play support, right? I play support. Okay, good. Okay, so what do you think of mages? Are you scared of them, or do you just, like, not care? Well, as a supporter, I should always be scared. Because <laughs> when the enemy mages come down to my lane, they usually aspirate me. So, or my mage stays in the lane. <laughs> you mean yet? I, I don't know if he's watching this. <laughs> He's at work. He can't. Okay, so I'm not saying like Yeti, but some people are think like Yeti. Uh, okay, okay. So what the fuck are they doing? They're increasing the cost of Lost Chapter. I don't like that. And now Lost Chapter gives you ten percent cooldown reduction. I like that. I like the early cooldown. But it's a, it's a unique passive though. Yeah, I mean you just can't stack it. That's fine. Yeah. Why would you have more than one Lost Chapter anyway? So you could beat the shit out. I mean, that's kind of very not gold deficient even before. Beat the shit out of them. Oh, okay. All right. So <laughs> good change. I guess it would be good for Vagar. Vagar was good. Okay. <laughs> Luden's Echo. The no, they take away the move speed. That's what I liked it for. Yeah, I bought it for the move speed. And they're reducing the um, ability power by one. I'm um, ten. Wait a minute. Are they giving it 20% cooldown? Yeah, they are. What the fuck? Are you serious? Wait, that's so broken. That's crazy, dude. Oh, Wait a shit. minute, people might start rushing this as like their first item now. And it gives 500... Dude, this shit might actually be crazy. Wait, this is ridiculous. Well, not first time. That's actually ridiculous. I'm stupid. But... Oh my god, it gives 500 mana and 20% cooldown. What the hell is this? Okay, let's look at the next one. GLP 800. What the fuck is the name of this item? I never understood it. Hextex GLP. I just call it fucking GLP. Yeah, but like, what, where did that come from? How did they make it? I have no idea. That shit's weird. Okay. So, okay, cool down. 10%. Mana. I'm sorry to notice the trend here. Wait, what? It, it no longer gives the Eternity passive? Yeah. Oh my god! Wait, Frostbolt now only damages until it's first unit hit per missile. Frostbolt. Okay, that's better. Frostbolt, Conair, but What do you think of this item? Does anyone even use this shit? Um. Yeah, like, I think, like, some of the new swains, like, they take that, and um, Aurelian Soul. Well, Aurelian Soul, um, it's, he's the only one who I know uses it. Old Swain used to take this. I, I'm not. Some advisors take it. I'm not sure. It's only for people where you want them to be, like,. In a certain spot, not necessarily CC'd, but like just near yeah. a certain area. So like Aurelian, you want him to be slowed for your stars. Swain, I don't know. How many mages take it? I've seen an Annie take it once. That didn't work out too well. Yeah, that sounds garbage. This item's garbage. I don't like it. Like at this point, why don't you just get Gunblade? Gunblade does the same you... exact thing, except better. At least it gives you 20% cooldown reduction. I guess... Wait. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, there it is, yeah. Okay. Wait. wait. Almost all these good. items give yeah, 20%. I'm, I'm noticing the trend here. Like, they really want mages to overcap on CD. Once you have um the one that gives you, like, AP, you're going to get a lot of AP from all these items now. All right, so awesome. Archangel Staff. Oh, my Increase the gold God. Class, reduce the ability power. Gave it, they gave it more mana. 20% cooldown reduction. Mana charges passive still grants up to 750. So it's less mana overall, isn't it? Wait. 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 Mana 250 to 650. Wait a minute. That is wait, not Wait, no. Less mana. This gives you a shit ton of more mana, which means more damage. Rise is back, baby. Oh my god. Yeah, this is an <laughs> indirect buff to Rise. Holy shit. Okay, the big one. Lyandry's Torment. Unique passive, no longer grants Eyes of Pain. Okay, no more 15 magic pen. I guess that's whatever. But the new passive, 
which is damaging champions increases the damage you deal by wait what by two percent per second until exiting combat up to 10 seconds and it also does one percent of the targets max health per second that's crazy I That's thought they just changed down. the regular passive. I didn't know they added the fucking unique one, like the new one. What Dude, the hell? This shit is crazy. That's what I was talking about. What the fuck? Mordekaiser is going to be so good. Mordekaiser? Anybody that's like, any Grand mages that like, aren't... Mordekai oh my god. Any non-like fucking burst mage. Which any is most tick mage. Oh my god, Malzahar. Yeah. Cassiopeia. As he's sucking you, he's going to be doing more damage. I like this. At least, at least it's only damage you do, not like it's like fucking everybody does more yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah, that would insane. have been crazy. That'd be insane. And then okay. the haunting guys is the same. They gave it more AP. They Wait, more they AP. gave it the madness passive. Yes. Holy shit! That's so you can crazy. sit on this item for a while. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Oh, Morello Namicon. Wait, they didn't change it. They just changed the fucking picture. I think they changed it. The picture, the picture's been changed for a while. No, it's, I mean, yeah, obviously, but they changed the name on the um fucking PVE, and then they, I guess they changed it back. Yeah, I guess so. I like the new picture. It looks kind of the same, but right, we so... always need to remember Morello for like the the nerfs he did. He did good nerfs. Okay, <laughs> uh, Morello not was supposed to be the anti. Wait, he's not on the like, nerfing team anymore. No, he left. He left a while ago. Uh. -uh. No wonder Lee's the way this is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no wonder it's not fun anymore. We all used to complain about him, but now look, we need him. <laughs> he's, the one, he's the nerf we all needed, not the one we deserved. <laughs> it was the best mana and AP item in every game. That was true, because everyone rushed that shit for the most yeah. part. Okay, so what are they changing? It cost 100 more gold. They changed the build path. It's giving less AP. It's giving health now. It no longer gives mana, unlike every other fucking item. Unique cooldown. It no longer grants 20. It grants magic pen. Magic damage dealt to champions. Okay, it gives them grievous wounds. That's good. No matter what health they're at, so that's even better, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, now it is the anti-healing item. You're not going to rush this anymore, I don't think. You might rush the last chapter and then an AP item, but... I don't might be like really Ludin. Ludin's and Liangis look really strong, and I think that's gonna be the rush. I think it's the era of the fucking tech mages. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, they're back, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Oblivion orb. Alright, this is the new item, right? Yeah. Okay, here Oh we no, go. the new items are under it. Wiggins, I thought you said they were here. Yeah. Wiggins, you're making me look like a fool in my own video. Hi, mom. Okay, anyway. Oblivion Orb. Because flat magic penetration is cool, just not for the Lyanjus tournament line. Oh, so it's like a, a build item. You build it into yeah. things. Okay, it gives you health too. So wait, this is what builds into Morello's, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, alright. Alright, not bad. Alright, Spellbinder, the more fighting the better. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a uh, endgame item? Yeah, it is. Okay, 100 AP, 100, I mean, no, 10% move speed. And you basically get, oh my god, and 100 AP for 4 seconds. So this is good for burst mages. Yeah, but you gotta like stack up the charges. I mean, that seems pretty easy, right? You just use your abilities, and then you wait. Like, I'm thinking, would you buy this on Akali? Because on Akali, you get like 100 AP and move speed. You just go in real quick, rape the enemy, get out. Yeah. Who That'd else be good would on you get the shot? Cassidin. Cassidin, you would get the shit on. Cassidin. Oh my god. Yeah, and his fucking dickhead daughter. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What do you think about this, Adam? I don't know how I feel about it. It looks. So it's 20 good, I, I gold for 200 AP and 40% move speed. Well, you got to, like I said, you got to get the. You have to like get the stacks, and it's like a hundred maximum. So I'm guessing like once you get it up to a hundred, I'm guessing it's one AP per stack. So would you build just... this on Vagar? Vagar? Yeah. Hmm. Is he you like... don't really need the AP. The move speed is very nice. Huh? Hmm. I think you might. I I gotta experiment with this shit if I ever do play Vagar again. But do it. Well, I plan support, but oh boy, 
It's back. The fucking best item in League of Legends. Twin it's Shadows. Back. So now that they're... Wait, you saw the changes they're doing to the support items? No. Okay, yeah, that's next patch then. Fuck. So, we'll talk about that then. Oh my god, Wiggins, they're nerfing them so fucking hard. It's so sad. I feel the bad supports? for supports, yeah. No. I feel so bad for you guys. Because now, that. if you take CS on accident, you're not getting gold. You're just oh. not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. But that's for next time. They might change it back because it's pretty ridiculous. All right, so All right. build path. What does it give? 60 AP, more move speed, cooldown. Everything gives fucking cooldown. Summon two spooky ghosts to hunt down near enemy champions. Haunted enemies are slow to 40%. I th okay, here's the question I have, right? Yeah. Mid laners go fucking uh, frost queens. Like, they yeah. start the support item, right? But that deactivates when you're, you know, CSing. Mm-hmm. So... I'm pretty sure they're buying it for the little ghost passive. Or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, they used to. Yeah, so now that Twin Shadows is back in, would they buy this instead of the support item? Because it gives you the same passive, right? Yeah, I don't know. They might. I hope so, because I'm sick and tired of seeing I think it's going to be like, better on like, poke, poke supports in the bot lane. I, don't know, I feel like if the fucking mid laner is feeding, he's like... Don't worry, guys. I can still help. And then summons the two ghosts to, like, <laughs> slow an enemy. There, guys. Look. I'm helping. We gotta wait and see. Yeah. Message. I don't know. I hope this is good. I like the item. I like the little ghosties. I hate the fucking icon. It looks so creepy. But. Okay. So, let's see what they did. So, Void Staff. 70% hard nerf. What? Rabadons. They're reducing the cost, which is crazy. Okay, Rabadon's is just built out of needlessly large rods now. That's good. And they're upping the AP by 40. So it's worse right when you get it. But you wait, get more no. benefit from it. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. They're not decreasing the AP of it, are they? Wait, no, no they're the not. Oh, shit. So wait, it's better. It's just better across the board. Yeah. Oh, shit. And buffing my allies. Okay, so all these are indirect like, buffs to Vagar. We didn't even start the championship, the fucking boss. Oh, my God. All right, top lane. Oh, no, no. Rally is just straight buff. All right, Wiggins. In total, what did you think of mages before this? They don't roam. Okay, now what do you think of mages after this? Their mid lane's going to roam. Okay. And now that their mid lane is roaming, are you more scared of him with these item changes, or are you not? Report my mid. Okay. All right, good, good. So that means you are, because they're fed. <laughs> so, okay, top lane. At the moment, too many champions, Gangplank and Orin are definitely core offender. Okay, but we need to have core people in the top lane that, like, you know, aren't tanks sometimes. Yeah. Uh, th 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 we're toning down the health and mana sustain. Okay. That also, also changes and press the attack. What? Nani? Press the attack? Oh, no, I think I saw these already. Okay. All right, anyway, Darius. Is Darius good right now? He's meh. He's yeah, like I don't know. I feel like he has. He's, he's gonna good. get certain picks. He's not like dominating like he was before. I miss the days when Darius was dominating. Yeah, when he got for, when they first <laughs> we worked him as a juggernaut. Oh Shit was crazy. God. Even before that, he was crazy. Okay, so well, not as crazy. What did they do to him? They reduced the cooldown, which is a buff. They increased the ratio, which is a buff. Jesus. <laughs> They fixed the bug, which no one cares about. They buffed the armor pet. Oh, my and God. And they buffed the armor pet. So just straight Darius buffs again. He's in a buttfuck tank. Yeah, he's got... If you're a tank in the top lane and Darius is picked into you, you instantly lost at this point. Unless the Jeez. Darius is Jesse or something, you instantly lost. <laughs> That's crazy that they're buffing Darius this much. All right, Gangplank. I'm assuming I'm going to see Nurse to him because... Yep. He's insane. Q mana cost increased the early ranks. Okay, so you can't poke as much. E barrel duration decreased. It doesn't matter because you don't fucking leave the barrels for more than like 10 seconds. And barrels no longer reveal nearby units. Okay, that's fine. So Q mana cost and powder K. Yeah, this is fine. Like, the, I think the biggest thing for him is losing the mana at early yeah. ranks because then you can't really farm as well or whatever. But that's pretty good. I know you're a pretty you good guy, Plank Wiggins, as Howard would say. Yeah. Kek XD combo. 
I hope. All right, no, I'm assuming I'm going to see nerfs because nerfs is pretty crazy. Uh, Q cooldown refund decreased more at higher ranks. E base damage increased. Wait, what? Okay, so they nerfed the Q. Because he would just spam that sick, that shit. And the hop damage is increased, but do you really E onto the enemy? You just E to set up something, so. Yeah, it's, this it's is it's useless easy. besides the yeah. G. Okay, so that's a retarded change. Orn, oh. Wiggins, what oh do you boy. think of Orny? Okay. Do you think after they straight buffed him and hot fixed him for like six straight patches that maybe they went a little overboard? They need to get Morello back on the fucking team. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're thinking, all right, Honestly. he's so bad, we have to buff him. All right, he's too good, we have to nerf him. There's never get a good Morello spot. Back. Get Morello back. These fools don't know what they're doing. They don't at play their own game. At least with Morello, we, we would like see a change to a champion, and then we would never see them like touched for another two years unless you would cast it in. <laughs> so anyway, what are they what are they doing? W shield duration increased. That's not really the issue. That doesn't matter. Cooldown decreased. That's pretty good. Damage increased early and decreased late. Okay, I'm kind of sad about that. I don't want his early game to be good. I want his late game to be good. Brittle duration decreased. That's actually fine. I, I agree with that. E now deals more damage on average but cannot double hit. That's actually sad. Yeah. Right, so, cooldown of W is insanely high now. I mean, you used to max that shit anyway, so. And late game, you're losing 2%. Actually, that's not that bad. Shield duration, 3.5. And brittle duration, 3. I think the brittle duration is what's hitting him the most. What about you, Williams? Yeah. So now he has to, like, act on that. He can't just, like... He eh, can't leave it there. Get away. Yeah. And if his teammates want to do it, they have to do it immediately. Yeah. And the E, you shouldn't be fucking using the E as, like, a damaging thing anyway. Now you might be, actually, because the base damage is extremely high. And the damage ratio is even higher now. But it doesn't double hit, which is kind of sad. So the overall damage has gone down. If you hit everything before, you would have done more damage. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about that. But oh well, no one, it's his E. Who really cares? All right. Wiggins, this is your girl here. Oh, Poppy. Now, how would you say Poppy is? Because I think she's fucking trash. She's trash, yeah. Why? Why is she trash? What made her good? And what is, like, why, why is she trash right now? She has like better like, well the build I used to do I used to build like a little bit damage early then I just went tanky now yeah. it's kind of like if you build damage early you're gonna get fucked if you build tank early you're gonna get fucked mm -hmm. so it's like no matter what you do you're gonna get fucked <laughs> and like her, her her base like ratios are kind of shit so like it's even if you do build damage you're still gonna get fucked. But we're gonna see. wouldn't you say that makes sense lore wise because she's tiny. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Wiggins, this is riot balancing team. This is what they think. If she's tiny, but the whole point is that the hammer is for the chosen hero. She's the chosen hero. Doesn't mean she's not tiny. Get fucking Morello back on the team. <laughs> get, these, get these guys out of here. Get them okay. out of here. So the passive damage is increased at early levels. Do you think the passive damage going up by 10 matters on her auto? <laughs> Good velocity. <laughs> yes. Is she used as a top laner anymore? I don't know where she is right now. I never see anybody play Poppy. <laughs> All right, and her E damage has gone up by 5. And it's doubled on slam, so it goes up by 10 if you slam someone. Move on. Just move on. To <laughs> so completely useless, horrible buffs. What the fuck was that? All right, so Renekton. Q damage increased at later ranks, empowering Q damage increase. Okay. Why? What? They're trying to give Renekton players like Elijah a reason to play him again, thinking, oh, he can be played late game. No. He's, that's no. not going to fix him. That's not he, this fix doesn't him. do anything. This just gives his players an illusion of hope that they can do something late game. That their pick was actually good or something. <laughs> Stupid. All right, Jax. Hashtag no longer, sometimes delays briefly before blocking attack. Okay, that's actually a really big bug. Holy shit. Because if you're autoed by an AD, 
0.25 seconds matters if that shit hits you. <laughs> so that's just the straight buff to Jax, kind of. Alright, for those of my range basic text for us. Why? They're nerfing Kog'Maw again, man. We're not even up to the damn champions yet. Holy shit. Wait, that what? Oh, that was just top lane. Yeah. That's sad. You have to make a fucking separate thing with top lane. And they only look. Yeah, look, top lane's so important, like, right? It's such a fun two, lane. There are two people buff one and just like, put some random shit in there to fill. <laughs> okay, Evelyn. The E damage increase. Last patch. Last patches nerfs were too hard. Evelyn, before the nerfs, did so much fucking damage. I remember I was Nasus, right? And I was raping a game. And they had a Vagar and an Evelyn on the enemy team. The Evelyn bursted me better than the Vagar did. And That's the Vagar sad. had triple her AP. That's really sad. Yeah. So, I'm not saying the buffs weren't warranted. I mean, the nerfs weren't warranted. But if Evelyn can't be an assassin, then what the fuck is she? Like... So, I don't know Did why they me. nerfed it. I actually like that about Evelyn. Because for Evelyn, you needed the setup. You needed to get everything right. You needed to wait for the mark. You needed to hit your Q or go in with your E. If you went in with your E, you killed yourself. So, you had to hit the Q and then you would ult away. But, like, you needed the setup to do the damage, which is what Riot fucking likes. Counterplay. Oh, I can see she's about to kill me. It doesn't matter that she will. I can see it, so it's fine. That's basically what Riot's, like, balancing system is. So Get I don't know Morello why they back. nerfed her. Yeah, Just we need Morello, dude. Holy fuck. Alright, let's see Fiddlestick. I'm right. tired of them fucking do Just a V freaking. <laughs> no, oh, Wiggins. No. Oh my god, man. What are they doing to him? E cooldown decreased the early ranks. Okay, that's that helps him. E bonus damage to monsters increased. That helps him a lot, actually. Bonus damage to minions removed. No more support. Our cooldown decreased. All of these are really fucking good, but Fiddlesticks is still trash. League's original mage jungler isn't doing so well. Nor will he ever unless you rework him in this fucking meta. He will be absolute garbage and trash until he is reworked. Oh my goodness, I'm tired of reading these. Like, all of these buffs, they're nice. If you still want to be useless, just feel better. <laughs> anyway. But he got buffed. It's not my fault. Yeah, yeah, alright. It's the fucking player, not the champion, of course. Oh boy, Callista. Okay, this is ridiculous. I don't like this. I, I know what this is, because I've, I've seen it on the Surrender 20, and I completely fucking hate Riot right now. Base attack damage and range decreased. Base attack just... speed and attack speed per level increased, and W now grants AD instead of attack speed. Alright. So let's read what Riot thinks, because this is... I'm going to explain why they're dumb ashes. I'm going to be the Hashinshin of the bot lane. Jesus. Every other lane is better than AD. Anyway. Holy shit, there's a lot of champions. Callista has been bullying other marksmen too hard in lane, so we're bringing her mana sustain and her attack range down somewhat. We're also changing the way her W works because we don't know what else to change on her. La 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 la. TLDR, her power will still get a boost when her old sworn is nearby, but the feel of her basic attacks will feel more consistent throughout the course of the game. Let me tell you what this actually fucking means. Actually, wait, let me see the base stats, okay. So attack range is 525. She can throw a spear farther than a gun can shoot. Thank you, Lucian. Base <laughs> AD is down a shit ton, and attack speed no one cares about. W, how much AD does she gain? Oh wow, 25. And mana refund. So it doesn't refund the full mana cost. It only refunds it at max rank, which is honestly fine. As long as they refund some, it's okay. So here's the problem. The only good change here is the E, the mana refund. That keeps her in line early. Because if she farms with the E, she has a little less mana to like poke you down sometimes. Yeah. Because she always was full on mana. She never ran out of mana because of the E. Which early now that is solved. Everything else. Riot makes a fucking AD, who's good, and only good, mid and early game, right? Yeah. So here's an idea, let's nerf her late game, yeah! Like, that's so counterintuitive. They build a character who's the exact opposite of what her role is supposed to be, good late, and then they nerf her early. That makes Why? sense to them. Why? Like, 
Galissa just won't be played. She's meant to dominate early, so hopefully you could snowball your lead into the win. And if you don't, then you lose because every, every AD outranges you. And just fucks you. Well, in this meta, they do. Like, Tristana late game compared to Callista. Callista's like a speck of dust compared to Tristana. Yeah. So, they're nerfing her early game. Why? This is so stupid. She's the infinitely stacking AD. Yeah, she's the infinitely stacking losing fucking late game. Oh <laughs> my god, I hate this shit. Riot just... Oh my god. Fucking stupid. All right, Kog'Maw, please. They nerfed him so hard. He was the number one win, win rate, and he got dropped down all the way to the fucking lowest. Jesus. In one change, one simple change, which was decreasing his W by 2%, dropped him to the lowest win rate. <laughs> oh, my God. We went too hard on W last patch, so we're giving so much strength back. So, now... The total nerf is 1%. So it shouldn't change too much about Kog'Maw. Kog'Maw should still be pretty good. 2%, that's too much. 1%, that's pretty good. So hopefully he won't be, you know, bottom of the barrel again. Because either he's Yee. too good or he's too bad. Alright, now Wiggins. Have you played Rengar? Because I have not. I played him a couple times, yeah. Alright, I've almost never played him. So I have no clue how he works or realistically what he really does so how how is he with the rework the like rework not this he... not this like the old one that we got it was worse actually it was worse that's what adrian says too because like it, first of all his q like i don't understand why they changed it in the first place okay like they, they had no reason to They're like oh shit let's go slash like <laughs> there was no reason to do that they wanted then, him like, to like not do damage not do 1,500 damage in zero seconds. And then his fucking, like, his ferocity changed. That just fucked him. Okay. Because, like, you don't even, like, because before that guy worked, when you ulted, you got, like, full ferocity stacks. So what you do is get you you get full ferocity from your jungle, get empowered, like, Q or something, and then you would, like, jump in, mm -hmm. Q them, and mm -hmm. reset Q, and then you get your ferocity back up, and then you get like three Qs off, Jesus. or you would like throw your bullet. You would throw your bullet in, and then you just get two Qs. That sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it was good. Those are good days. That sounds a little too good, actually. Hey, this is why we're talking about. They don't know how to build a game. I guess you're right. All right what Not like they've been doing this for like ten years. <laughs> All right, so flat AD, he doesn't get anymore. Uh. Okay, Twisted Tree Line, no one cares. Leap, offset from target, nerfed. Leap speed, nerfed. Meow. Rengar now has voice response to gaining a bone tooth necklace. No one cares. Okay, so they nerfed his passive, basically. Yeah. Wait, no, wait. No, they buffed it. Yeah, they buffed it. He's getting more AD late game. Yeah, late game, but the, the leap speed is still down. Okay. Then again, I didn't really do much for like, other champions like LeBlanc when they nerfed their W speed. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, Q update, it's basically old Q. We don't need to go over that. It's just really good for him, I hope now. Thank God. And W buffed, that's good. They love the hunt. Okay, this one I'm actually curious about. So, the enemy can't see you until you're 1,600 units near them. That's a huge buff compared to what it was. Yeah. Like our vision range, uh, that's a little bit nerfed, but that's still fine. Movement speed is increased, finally. Holy shit. Now, the thing they removed, Rengar's leap out of his ultimate no longer automatically crits. So it still can crit. Yeah. It just it doesn't do it automatically. And now, instead of just critting, it deals 30% of his total AD as bonus damage and shreds their armor. Oh my god. Jesus. And then the close enemy to Rengar alerts all allies. Of, what the fuck? Enemies revealed by Thrill of the Hunt stay revealed. That's crazy. So you can actually use it as like a TF ult now. You can use it for vision. Yeah. So that way, if Adrian's feeding his ass off on Rengar, we'll tell him go <laughs> ult near Baron. Be useful. Yo, support Rengar is back. That's what I like, dude. <laughs> Alright. Shivana. Shivana. Is Shivana any good? Yeah, she's pretty good right now. Okay, so she's probably going to get nerfed. AD a... damage growth down. Okay, she got nerfed. Second hit damage is... Ner wow, that's actually crazy that they did that. 
So your second hit isn't really a second hit. It's like a second tickle. Yeah. That's so dumb. I don't know if she could solo a dragon anymore. She probably can, but... She still can. Her W and her E. Her E, like... But the Q is, like, like, so nerfed, man. I like the Q. I like the Q because I used to build fucking on-hit full damage Shivana. On-hit ass blast. Basically. Swain. Well, I'm really sad about that, though. I don't think she needs to be nerfed. I think Shivana is alright where she is. Alright, Swain. The garbage fucking rework. Surprise, surprise. So, the W needs to get reworked. That is the only thing, and maybe the R, that's holding him back. The E is absolutely fine, and the Q is fun as fuck. I love those two abilities. The W, you will almost never fucking hit, and it's too hard to hit for the payoff of, like, healing a little bit. And, I don't know. I If you do, if you do like, the E combo, and then, like, you just put the W down, then pull them in. Like, look, yeah, but it's I seen... so hard, it's so unreliable. Like, what I see Swain players do is, like, they hit the E, and then they throw it on the W, then they pull them in, and then the W hits. But, like, like you said, it's still, like, kind of shite. Yeah, it's so unreliable for what it does. Either buff the W insanely so it does a shit ton of nuke damage to champions, if you hit it, that will make it good. Or just rework it so it's easier to hit, and just leave the same, like, damage and whatever. Because it doesn't do a lot of damage to warrant what you need to do to hit it. Alright, and his R. The only other change I would see to make to Swain besides the W being garbage is make him gain more move speed on his R and or make it activatable earlier. Because this shit's ridiculous. And let's read this. It heals more mm -hmm. per target. Cooldown and self to fully refund if Swain dies during the channel time. Oh, that's oh, actually goodness, really right? good. What the fuck? Dude, I cannot tell you how many times that's happened to me. He, and you then, like, pop it like, and then you just die immediately? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ultimate that's... hat now properly reduces demonic ascension's cooldown. Wow, it didn't. What the fuck? Damn, that's crazy. Health at threshold to reactivate. It's lower now, so you can activate it earlier. And well, you get more health round. anyway now, so it's going to be quicker to activate and it takes less. That's really good. Area of effect starts slightly more in the direction of Swain's movement at high movement speeds. That's good. I still think yeah. he should get movement speed while doing it, but. Like, he's a floating rapist. He I think that spell might that yeah. spell orb is gonna be good on him. Oh yeah, he could do it while ulting. Oh yeah, that, that's actually really good. And then he gains a burst of AP. Holy shit! All it's right, only for four seconds. So oh well. All right, Talon. Base armor decreased. Base magic resist increased. So he can do better against mages. Yeah. Whoop de do. Tristana. Okay. Oh my god, dude! They're just gonna nerf every AD. Tristana's ability to peel for yourself is too consistently available. Yeah, I would. I, I would actually say that that makes sense because her R does way too much damage for like an ulti. Early, maybe not so much late game, but early game for the damage it does and the cooldown it has, that's crazy. Yeah, that's like doesn't it do like three hundred? It magic? does three hundred base, and it not only does three hundred base, it CCs them away from you, and it's a low ass cooldown. So it's like you can use it aggressively and defensively. It's crazy. I use this patch now. It's holy shit. Yeah, this thing's crazy. We're a little Jesus bit over God. halfway. But the bomb is usually just bug fixes, so I'm pretty sure that'll go fast. Alright, Buster Shot, the cooldown is just higher, which I can actually understand. That's alright. Alright, Twitch. Oh my god, dude. I'm scared for Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is one of the strongest users of press the attack, despite it's not being the rune most players take. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yes. With the power increase, press the attack. See below, League's uh, dirtiest rat needs to Jeez, lose some base rat. power. This is fine. Because the base power on the E is trash anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Like, you get the E because of the, the stacking bonus. Bonus yeah. damage per stack. Wait, they did change it. Oh, no, it's unchanged. All right, good. Yeah, the base damage on the E doesn't matter. They can nerf it all they want. All right, Vola oh. Bear. The shit bear of League of Legends that no one plays. Do we even need to go over this? Because, like, not unless they rework him, he's going to be bad. Yeah. He's just, like, one of those, like, because, like, they explained it. It's, like, like, before, like, when League was starting out, there weren't that many people that had, like, escapes and stuff. Like, there's a few, but now, like, everybody has an escape and shit. <laughs> like, like just kind of can't do anything. Yeah. All right. Ching Ching with the new spot show. Passive damage decreased. W base cast time decreased. So he's just buffed. Yeah. Do you think... 
Well, his passive is nerfed, his W is buffed for some reason. You think he's, like, good? I haven't really seen him. I don't think he's that good. He's still good. People just don't play him. Okay. So, whatever. All right, it's like he, he's good, but, like, why would you like, why would you play him over, like, someone that's meta? Let's so, he's, like, right middle now. of the line. Yeah, he's meta. Okay. All right, so Zed. Just a straight buff to his R. How do you feel about assassins right now? Do you think they're strong? Not really. I don't see them played as much. Yeah, I think they absolutely suck cock. <laughs> well, except for Katarina. Katarina's like the only one. But then again, you have to be really good at her. That's the next thing in the chat, boys. Alright, so Zed straight buff. Zoe! Okay, Jesus. to get through this whole fucking paragraph of like them explaining why they're nerfing her. Her health is nerfed. Oh no, it's buffed. Her base AD is buffed. All right. Uh, the more sparkles is buffed. What the fuck? Her Q is nerfed with base damage and rate. Oh my god! Paddle Star no longer applies more sparkles damage to enemies past the first hit. So the Q got hard nerfed with damage. Yeah. Which is confusing to me. I'll explain soon. Uh, w means can no longer drop teleport. That's fine. Movement speed bonus. Oh, they increased. That's actually really good. The move speed early is shit. And the ratio for... Wait, what? It had a ratio? Wait a minute. The W? Yeah, wait, what? Because when you activate the spells, you get like three little orbs around you. Oh, yeah. I forgot it does damage. Okay, so that's a buff. And E, uh, da, 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 the cooldown is no longer, no longer reduced at all. And removing Jazzy now prevents the afflicted target from sleeping, which makes sense. Okay. Zoe does not have a damaging ult, and the E is okay with damage, right? Like, it, it just doubles whatever damage is done to them up to a Yeah. Point. So her main damage ability is her Q, which... It's always a slippery slope with Riot. If you put all the damage into one ability, you either have to over buff the shit out of it, which makes it OP, but then they nerf it, and then the champion's useless, because it's their one damage ability. So it's like... I actually thought Zoe was fine. She was a little crazy, but that was the character. That is what Zoe was. Now she's yeah. probably not that good. So don't. I don't know why they do that. They put all the fucking damage into one ability, and then they nerf it. Oh, yeah. All right, so we were worried that the removal of old wounds and masters would make lasting too hard. We gave champions a bonus five damage against slain minions. Over time, it became clear this wasn't necessary. So many people are going to miss CS now that they're moving yeah. this. <laughs> like, I remember yeah. they took away five AD on Jun's grenade, and I missed so much CS because of that. <laughs> Stupid. All right, um, I got to get ready for class. I'm leaving the rest of this to you, Young Island. All right, Wiggins, I got it. I put faith in you. Bye, wig, wig. Oh my god. Alright, ancient coin line. Now start with extra move speed. Lovely. Straight buff. Relic shield. Health decreased. They're also going to nerf the shadow support items next patch, so... This is like the preliminary testing. Alright, tracker's knife is removed. Because it's always used in professional play, and they're buffing around professional play, obviously. Wits end. Cost decreased, on hit damage increased. That's really good. Max magic resist drain increased, but per stack half on ranged champions. That's fine. So basically, on ranged champions, right? You get the same MR eventually, which is buffed. It just takes longer. So that's actually fine. That's a good. That's a good uh, change, not nerf. All right, runes precision. Uh, starting precision long sorcery domination grants you some stats for your primary tree and some from your secondary. Thank the Lord, cause on fucking Jin, you would never go. What's it called? You would never go um, precision as the first tree, cause it only gave you attack speed, and it only giving you attack speed was so horrible for Jin, cause that would give you nothing, stat wise that you needed. That's why people start sorcery and domination, cause it gives you AP and AD, like you know, starting off. So. That's fine. It's just like, you know, stats. Keystone. Press the attack. Damage was increased by a little bit early and a lot late. And late game, it's the same. Just early game, you're not doing as much damage amplification. So that's honestly fine because the damage amplification early didn't really matter. You're not really team fighting and you're in a lane with the support. So, oh, well. 
And I'm looking at it from an AD perspective because no one besides AD should use this. All right, resolve, bone plating, da, 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 da. they moved some shit around to like balance it. Unflinching has been moved up to vitality, that's fine. Uh, bone plating, too tanky. After taking damage from an enemy champion, next three spells or attacks against you deal 20 to 50 less damage, duration 5 seconds, and the cooldown is 45. This seems like such trash. With the cooldown being 45 seconds that and the duration being 5, that seems like shit. That looks so bad. I don't know why anyone used that because it looks so fucking horrible. All right, iron skin. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Second one has been moved up. Cool. No one cares. No one cares. All right, inspiration. The inspiration tree no longer grants increased potion duration. That's fine. Uh, wind up. Thank the Lord. They're nerfing stopwatch. Holy shit. That thing is used by everyone. And it finally starts at 10 minutes, not when you get six and then can be cucked. Thank you, Riot. Finally, something good. All right, Celestial Body. No one cares. Time Warp Tonic. Uh, your Potion Elixirs and Biscuits last 20% longer. Wait a minute. Wait, no, I do care. Wait, Celestial Body is the 5% extra cooldown. And whatever. I like that. I don't like this. That's stupid. All right, Blast Gun. Over the outer four Blast Guns spawn later in the game. That's fine. So it actually does affect jungle a lot, but I'm not jungle, so I don't care. Uh, ancient Krugs. Ancient Krugs and all that take a deuce damage from range basic attacks. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they do that. Huh. Okay, Hand of Baron. Hand okay, this is actually pretty big. So Baron buff bonus ability power increased. Thank you for, for fucking probably um, Kai'Sa because she needs AP. Baron buff stat increased more later in the game. Thank you. Baron buff now buffs caster mage durability. That's really good. Like, Baron buff is pretty impactful if you have a cannon wave. And the melees are pretty strong, but the casters suck dick, so that's good. And Baron didn't really feel like you got enough out of it besides the minions. Like, yeah, the stat increases were nice, but they weren't anything to write home about. So, initial stats, 25 AD and AP, 24 damage, and 40 AP... And then 48, oh my god, 48 AD and 80 AP, oh my god, that's a lot, actually. Minion buffs and caster minions of power, minions that take less damage, that's fine. Okay. Oh, wow, it did reduce the damage of Renan's. Okay. Oh, this is a big change, too, holy shit. So, Elder Dragon respawn timer decreased, that's good. Elder Dragon buff duration increased for buffs beyond the first your team gets, that's good. Burn damage increased for Elder Dragon Buffs beyond the first. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. It doesn't look like it's doing its job well enough yet. It lasted too fucking like short. So we're buffing all Elder Dragon Buffs for your team beyond the first. So and dialing down the respawn timer. Your team has to take multiple Elder Dragons to get the stronger buff. That The second Elder Dragon of the game only gives the basic buff if the team that kills it wasn't... Oh, okay, no one cares. All right. So, Elder Dragon, I want to see the stats. Uh, 150 seconds for the first. So, the first is basically the same. But after that, it's doubled, which is pretty good. The burn damage uh, for the first buff your team gets 35 plus 90. For, oh, my God. Yeah, the second one's going to be insane. And it gives you 50 plus effectiveness. And, a, oh, my God. That's crazy. All right. And it, I'm pretty sure it infinitely stacks now, so. You can just keep buffing yourself. That's crazy. Okay, honor, you can see unique stats above your recent honors anytime you want an honor reward, like a key fan. Okay, that's good. Scoreboard, no one cares. And a shit ton of bug fixes. There you go. Upcoming skins. The ki the skin that no one really expected, or I think no one wanted, which is Darkstar Jarvan. And doesn't really, you know, look that good. And the skin they've been promising for four years and finally released Dragon Master Swain. So, that's the patch. How long did this shit take me? This shit was long. This took me 45 minutes. Wow. Well, that's the patch. A whole shit ton of ADs got nerfed. Mid lane got buffed. Which I'm really scared of because now we're going to see Brand even more in the fucking support role. Until next patch when the support items get nerfed. So, next patch I'll be going over the support items and Kai'Sa and whatever the fuck else they think they're going to add. But, oh my god, I'm so excited for Kai'Sa. 
I'm so hard. And there's already fucking images of her that tantalize me. It's so good. Anyway, I'm going to give this patch a 7 out of 10. Morellos. There's 7 Morellos out of 10 for this one. And that's because a lot of ADs got nerfed. Some needed it. Some just didn't make sense. Like Callista. And a lot of mid laners got buffed and assassins got buffed. So hopefully they'll feel good again. So overall, even though the AD role was nerfed, a lot of other fixes were made to other roles that I like. Except one. So that's about it. 7 Morellos out of 10. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back for the next patch notes where I jizz over Kaisa. Bye-bye.